Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of 247 DIY. Today we're out here in the shop. We're doing a little bit of an electrical project because I finally went ahead and purchased a welder. It's something that I've been wanting for a while now. Um, I wanna teach myself how to weld. And I'm gonna be doing a whole separate video on why I chose a specific welder um, and everything surrounding that, so stay tuned for that. But before we can even go ahead and use the welder, we do need to go ahead and add a dedicated welding circuit um, that's wired properly for this welder, so stay tuned for that. So the first thing that we need to do before we go ahead and set up our dedicated circuit here for the welder is we need to know how many amps this specific welder is gonna be drawing. Um, I did buy this brand new, so I have the owner's manual here for this Vulcan Omni Pro 220. Um, it can run off of 120 volts, uh, but it's gonna have better performance off 240. And since I have you know, really restrictions out here in the shop in terms of where I'm gonna be running wiring, um, I might as well just add in a 240 volt circuit. So that's what we're gonna be doing. And if you go ahead and look at their chart here, you can see that the draw, the input amps here, um, has a max of 25.5. So that means the smallest circuit um, that you could get away with would be a 30 amp circuit. The plug that we're going to be using, this is the style plug that you need for the OmniPro 220 um, cord. This is a 50 amp plug. So if you were starting from scratch, Ideally, just go ahead and make your circuit a 50 amp circuit, get a 50 amp breaker and wiring rated for 50 amps. Um, that way in the future, it's future proofed all the way up to the limits of the outlet here. Um, I'm reusing some things that were already here installed in the barn when we bought the property. Uh, so here in the box, uh, you can already see I've done a little bit of work because I need to know what I was working with, but there was an old welder circuit here. Now they had a 60 amp breaker installed in there had this old, older uh, 60 amp breaker in there. Um, now I believe, at least as far as my limited understanding, I'm not a licensed electron or electrician or anything like that, um, but from my understanding, the research I've done, I think this was improperly sized uh, because they ran this wiring here. This ran all the way along this wall and then over to that far corner uh, to this 50 amp outlet right here. So I think right there off the bat, since this is only a 50 amp outlet, shouldn't have been on a 60 amp breaker. And then this is six gauge aluminum wiring. And from the research that I've done, um, the six gauge aluminum wiring is basically the equivalent of eight gauge copper wiring. Um, and so that would be a max of 40 amps that you would wanna run through there. Um, so instead of going and buying new wiring, since I've got this wire right here and 40 amps is gonna be more than enough to run the welder, um, I've just gone ahead and we're gonna run a 40 amp circuit. So all of this combined should be fine. Like I said, we're running a 50 amp plug. The welder itself shouldn't draw more than 25.5 amps. The wiring can handle 40 amps. So we're gonna go ahead and protect that with a 40 amp breaker. So the first thing we gotta do is get this panel off of here. All right, and so right here uh, was where that old 60 amp circuit was in there that I pulled out. This is where it exited over there. We're actually not going to be um, using that. It used to come out and go up over the wall, like I said, over there. Um, I want to put the outlet right here. And really the reason for that is, is I still have uh, some leftover three quarter inch conduit. Um, they stapled the old cable along the wall and then the drop when it came down over there. Um, they used this three quarter inch conduit and I saved this. Um, so we're just gonna come straight off the box to somewhere right about here on the wall. Um, so I'm actually just gonna go ahead and use this knockout. Conveniently enough, it was already halfway knocked out for some reason by the previous owners, but we're gonna use that knockout there. We'll just bring our wire in, bring it down. I'm gonna use the same opening. That way I don't have um, just kind of a random opening where those knockouts in the cover were already removed. Um, we'll just loop that wiring up over, up over here, mount a box there on the wall, get everything hooked up. Should be super simple. Um, get everything done pretty quickly here.
All right, and since we're running this through conduit, I've just gone ahead and cut a length of the cable that I needed, and we just cut that outer insulation off the outside of it. We're just gonna run the wire through like this. So that's everything all finished up. Uh, just a quick recap, we got the 40 amp breaker in there, it is turned on. Uh, we have the welder now plugged in. You'll notice this is a little bit different from when I um, had the installation footage. Um, originally I had the ground pointed down uh, with this cord for it to hang nicely like this and not have it looped up and over. Uh, the ground needs to face up. So all I did was just turn 180 degrees off camera, not really hard. Uh, but yeah, everything works, the welder's on, and I'm excited to go ahead and start practicing with this thing. And so that's gonna go ahead and wrap this quick project up, guys. Like I said, stay tuned for a future video where I go more in depth on this welder, why I chose it specifically as someone who doesn't know how to weld. I know a little bit about welding, but I don't know how to weld. Um, and then as well as I'll probably film quite a bit of the process of me teaching myself how to weld. Um, so if you like the video guys, be sure to hit that like button. Feel free to leave a comment below. And if you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing. Thanks.